Okay, hi. Before we begin, I need to show everyone what my very, 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 very best friend slash wife slash love of my life, CC, got for me when I saw them this past weekend. It's a giant unicorn. It's as big as me. And I named him Commodore and I hold him very close at night when I sleep. 23 years old. <laughs> Who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> is this... <laughs> this is gonna be the thumbnail. Hold on. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I really want to get him like in the shot for this video while I talk about my um, feelings like like an adult, but he's just so big. Oh, look at that little twinkle twinkle in his eye. I had that once. <laughs> Not so much anymore. <laughs> I'm a quirky and relatable teen. So wait, before I like really kind of jump into everything and do a little bit of tea time with y'all and cut to some very chaotic footage that I have here on my camera, a little quick skin update because as you probably saw in my like last couple videos, my skin and has been like absolute garbo, but it's finally starting to clear up and I'm getting proud of it. This side of my face is like almost like smooth barely any red blemishes however this side of my face still kind of looks like phantom of the opera but it's okay i'm getting there zoom on this camera is absurd why are you so zoomed in you fucking clown, <laughs> clown. oh my atlanta georgia oh. that's crisp <laughs> wow Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. <laughs> oh, Mr. Stark. That was about to <laughs> that doesn't sound so good at all. Oh, dear. <laughs> Mr. Stark. I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, I'm ripping off my mustache. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're gonna get back to that. <laughs> That's why I ripped it off so fast. Oh. Oh. Well, you're almost there. Oh my god. Just gotta get the mustache. <laughs> I can't go back. This fucking beard you put on his face mask. I'm like only crying out of one eye. <laughs> I don't think you understand. It hurts so bad on my mustache. <laughs> she can see me. <laughs> oh my god. You just gotta rip it. Shh. Yeah? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have good skin again. I haven't picked at my skin. Well, okay, that's like a lie. <laughs> I have kind of picked at my skin, but like not as bad. Like I haven't touched any of these like red spots, which I'm like really proud of, of myself for. Yeah, like the only places I've really kind of um like picked at my skin, if anything, has been like on my like chin because I have a bunch of like little like those like they're not blackheads, they're whatever that S word is. I don't know, I looked up once, like, everyone has them, and if you, like, pick it on, like, all this gunk comes out. But I have them, like, really bad on my chin, so I, like, pick at those. You know, like, I press and, like, dig my, like, dirty-ass hands onto my poor, poor skin and make everything worse. So, I mean, I, I haven't picked, but I have picked, I'm better. Okay, kids, today's theme of the video is gonna be the power of friendship. Because friendship 
is magic. So as I was saying, I was feeling really, really super like anxious lately and I was like freaking out. And like one thing that I was like super hyper fixating on was the fact that I was going to be going to this Friendsgiving for the holidays, right? Hey, what is up my dudes? I am currently making the long gay pilgrimage to go see all my homosexual gals and pals and I could not be more excited. I'm going to drink a lot of wine, I'm going to film a lot of footage, and I'm going to cut it together and it's going to be messy but beautiful. And um, yeah, also I kind of look like a whore, but um, what else is new? I was so excited for it, but also like so stressed the fuck out at the same time because as I've said a thousand times over and as I will constantly repeat, but then again, me repeating these things and saying them over and over again makes them more real and I'm better able to understand them and see them as concrete facts. But as I had mentioned, I had lost a lot of friends. And um, during my period, my cool blue 22, where I isolated myself from most people that I knew, um, during that isolation, I lost a lot of friends. Um, but I also had a lot of friends that very much missed me and still for whatever reason, and God bless them, still loved me and cared for me and wanted the best for me even though I was just non-responsive, never around, just a, a ghost. A ghost among the living, basically. Yeah. I'm a fucking tough. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm really glad that my camera, as soon as you said I'm a fucking top, just went blurry. <laughs> just said no mas. Whoever bites the bullet and sits at that table. I'm a fucking top. I'll go sit there by myself. It's what I'm used to from middle school. Oh my god. For my friends giving, I was going to be seeing all the people that you know, still had loved me. People who I very much hadn't seen in well over a year and it was freaking me out because, how do I want to, okay, so wait, I need, how am I gonna make this like more clear? Cause I never like, I'm never gonna like name drop anything, but like basically in college I had group, my group A friends and my group B friends. And my group A friends and my group B friends always got along, you know, and I, I tried to make them all group C friends, right? Try to bring them all together. And it never really worked the way I wanted it to because group A and group B were very different groups of people. Um, and I fit in either or. My group A friends were basically all the friends that I had lost during my, my sad girl episode before I started, you know, drinking a gallon of water a day and doing yoga, so. <laughs> um, but basically, yeah, so my group A friends were all the friends that I had lost, but my group B friends were the friends that for, like I said, whatever reason, still loved me and cared for me and hoped for the best for me and... Oh my god! Oh, oh, me in the ass, I guess! <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am? Oh, no, no, I gotta I gotta YouTube. It's your girl, Mary Shannon. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna join this time. No, we're Shut up! Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so my YouTube's at Mary Shannon. Okay, I'm wrong. Okay, um, go. Thank you, Father, for our food. You're, you're dead to me, but it's fine. <laughs> Thank you for everyone coming together. Um, it's an important day for me. I'm sure it's an important day for you now. <laughs> um, uh, to, uh, important life to those who are currently suffering in silence, um, that you find that strength to talk out or speak up. If you have spoken up about it, I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of everyone in this room. I'm glad we're all together. Y'all are faggots. Burn to the cross. Burn to the cross. Yay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, 
my the friendsgiving i was going to was going to be a lot of like group b friends along with a lot of with a lot of um their own respective friends that i was going to be meeting for the first time who i mean i did have some interactions with their their friends um but that was mostly like you know it's almost like online and like through twitter, twitter through twitter so they weren't people that i had met in like real life yet um so i was like really nervous because as as you guys know by now um what happened with my group A friends was a horrific mess and most of them I just don't talk to anymore as much as it, it hurts but at the same time how much can I cling cling to the past um I have to come to terms that like you know a lot of things were said a lot of things were done um a couple of subtweets with snake emojis were made um uh, which is like awesome and really cool to do to subtweet people at 23 years old I mean, if Lana Del Rey can literally tag Azealia Banks to pull the fuck up, if you really have an issue with me, you may have to tweet something so super vague with a fucking snake emoji, Kim Kardashian. But that's just me. It's like, how is this baby supposed to come out? Like, what the fuck is about to happen? And then I go into labor, and it's completely painless, and this green, like, egg sac grows between my legs and pops, and there's just like, like it was completely pain. It was like a balloon. It was like a green balloon. And it's like completely painless, and there's this, like, green baby. And I was like a surrogate mother, and I had to give up the baby, and I was like so upset about it. Okay, what? Huh? <laughs> yes. What a king. Like I need to put. Like no, it's fine. I'm looking at your your. A Leo. You're guy. leaking. Sorry, I just I busted too hard. I got too wet. Familiar story. How do I have? <laughs> hey, what's up, you two? Don't make fun. <laughs> I'm not. I'm supporting you. So my girlfriend busted oh, too hard. I. I love this. Whoa. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Not clickbait. So my girlfriend just busted a nut. <laughs> Sure, that's fine and dandy, whatever. Anyways, like I said, in 2020, I want to be more active again and be with people that have always loved me and cared for me and will always like just support me in every, I don't know, carnation, not carnations, that's a flower, <laughs> dumbass. Iterations is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> the fuck? Um, who will always support me in any version of myself and I as of late have really as the as the year has come to a close and we're moving into this new decade which I'm so excited for um I'm realizing you know who I want to be in my life and who I'm more compatible with and who I just uh, who I just feel like understand me on a very like once again, I I don't know words, but this motion, right? Like, understand me like this. Oh hey everyone, so I'm at my first oh communion, God. and it's kind of weird right now. <laughs> Wait, can I please? Yeah. Can I please? Yeah. Yeah. Hi guys, this is the worst birthday I've ever been to. Exactly. Yeah, look at this box. Oh my God, look at this. Wait, click me. They don't even have flavor options, they're just red. What the fuck? Like, what's red? Like what? I wore this fucking like hair press, for a red jello shot? Damn. Like so you jello shots? I should I, I could have just drunk ibuprofen. I mean I could have just drunk ibuprofen. <laughs> okay. YouTube, YouTube, listen to it. YouTube Spy Kids 3D Game Over was not a good movie. YouTube's deleting my channel. Yes. YouTube now. <laughs> RuPaul had fucked up drag. <laughs> and those are the people that I wanna be with in twenty twenty, which are my my group B friends, I guess. Um, which I guess now are my only group of friends, which is cool. <laughs> yeah, so my whole drive there, which is like a little bit of a journey to get to this Friendsgiving, um, I was so <laughs> anxious. I was in the car, amped up on like two Red Bulls. My fucking like hands were like shaking as I'm like trying to hold onto the steering wheel and I hear my heart beating so fast because I was so stressed that these people, some of whom I like I had mentioned, I hadn't seen in well over a year. I was so afraid that 
they were, I was gonna get there and they were gonna tell me to leave and get out. And they weren't gonna talk to me. They were gonna like run away and avoid me. Um, because that kind of sort of happened with my group A friends um, at one event in which I showed up kind of unannounced. So that part was on me. Um, but when I went to go, you know, see them and say hi, they all ran away from me, which was really cool. Really made me feel awesome and really, really great about myself. Um, anywho, <laughs> um, so I mean, I had had that experience before because so part of like my my little anxious, dumb little rat brain, you know, was valid in that sense. Uh, <laughs> so I was afraid that was gonna happen, that I was gonna like open the door, even though I was invited put into a group chat for the whole thing. Everyone was so excited that I was coming. People were like, oh my God, I can't wait to see you. This is like the whole reason like I'm going. Like my one, my one friend, or not friend, girlfriend, wife, once again, my other wife, Olivia, was so, you know, saying like, oh, this is the only reason why I'm getting out of bed. Like blah, blah, like people were so excited that I was going. But once, it, like I was still the whole time as I was driving, I was like, no, as soon as I get there, they're gonna, no one's gonna talk to me, no one's gonna like me. Um, they're gonna fucking th shove me into the toilet, give me a swirly and then kick me out into the cold. And I had fully prepared myself for that event to happen. You knocked out one shit over here. I was like, what do you think that you cried about? Is this a also, how old were you when you could pass? Oh no! Yuck! Can I lick your eyelashes? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like, what do you have to confess about? Exactly. <laughs> like, why are you trying to- Hey, what is, what's up, YouTube? Um, it's getting kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> Help. <laughs> like, who is that? Who is that? <laughs> okay, why do you look shy? Like, don't give me that shy shit. <laughs> oh! Okay, okay, look, you're Latina, right? What happened to your waiting to ass? Like the devil oh yeah, she's up there. Yes. Okay, now it's okay. What I press? It's filling already. Okay. Oh, I love that. Exclusive. Closer to the red light a little bit. Exclusive. Oh, hi, hello. <laughs> I have it this way. This way. This way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to get more of that shadow up in there. The way the shadows create the light is what you can see. I don't know how to do that. Wow, good girl. Look at her. Look at that good little girl. She's so cute. Just a little. Maybe like a little like. Like, like strong? Like, 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 Come on, give me top. Icon. Give me, I fucking no hate you all. <laughs> That's me every day. <laughs> okay. And um, as you're gonna see in the footage that I interspliced throughout this, um, that did not happen at all. <laughs> it didn't even happen in the slightest. It's not like as soon as I like walked in the room, it was like this big cinematic moment where everyone you know, came out of their respective whatevers and ran up to me and hugged me and there was like a fucking Coldplay song or something playing. No, that's not what happened at all. Um, rather, I just walked in and it was like as if I hadn't been gone in a long, you know, in a very long time. I walked in the room or I walked into the house and you would never know that a year had passed since I had seen a, since I had seen a lot of those people. Alright, girl. Now please. Uh, please. Uh, uh, Alright, you got me, guys. Yeah. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to this flag of the United States of the United States of Miss America. Of Miss America. And to the Republicans. And to the Republicans. Which she can't stand. Which she can't stand. One nation. One nation. Under queerness. Under queerness. Little titties. Little titties. That's me. Birthday, dear Happy birthday, birthday to you. Good job, Cat. <laughs> 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 
seen any of those people because like I said I met a lot of people um, for the very first time that night and you would have no idea because it's like as soon as I walked in I you know opened up a bottle of Riesling took a couple jello shots was talking mingling moving in and out of different groups of people as I love to do at parties um I love to just talk to everyone and fucking do whatever and I um you would never know you would never have known and like that's that's what like i love i love just falling back into into the rhythm into the ease into the flow into the doo -doo 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 -doo. um you would you would have no idea um and i don't know it made me really happy and off the fucking like red bull induced shakes that i had just um just went away. And no pageant ever. Yeah. 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 Hey, what's up YouTube? So my first community is getting kind of weird. My youth pastor's doing these really weird games, and I don't think I'm down with it, but I'm not gonna tell my mom. <laughs> that these people, that my wives, friends, kings and queens and everything in between these people these people um this is where i fit in it's where i've always fit in and i think for a long time i tried to fit into group a but it it was never gonna happen and that i don't i'm not saying like those friendships or anything like that were ever like a waste of time or anything bad like that like I, I still value those people because they did teach me a lot they taught me that 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 that's just not me which is very important they're just not who I should try to be around with and be with again in the new coming decade but these people whether I see them again at the end of this month or I never see them again or I see them in the next couple of, or I see them, I, whatever, time, time is illusion. It is not real, nothing is linear. Da, da, da. I, um, those people, you know, those people that I met that night in passing or, you know, they laid down on the ground with just being fucking drunk and all sorts of fucked up on x y and z um those people you know they showed me that you know these are the kind of people i want to be around these just accepting fucking crazy queer dumbasses who just do everything for a bit and a joke and are so beautiful and so loving and so accepting and just Speak 
the truth. <laughs> and only the truth. <laughs> Just pick a guy and love him. And if he's got a thing for feet, say fuck it, sweet me up. <laughs> hippy dippy bullshit I guess I don't know <laughs> all those Woodstock pipe dreams basically you know as 2019 comes to a close and the new decade a whole new decade is like upon us and everything I'm just ready to move forward with this new and improved version of myself because I've changed a whole hell of a lot and I want to go and forge my own path and do my own thing and try to be as successful as possible. So, oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, so I'm able to take my success and share that success and wealth with these group of people who who have always just loved and cared for me no matter what. And like nothing motivates me more <laughs> than trying to take care of the people who took care of me and who were patient with me because I'm not an easy person to deal with and to put up with and you know, for some reason, these these groupy people, <laughs> they did it. They did it. They really did. They crossed that fucking finish line in terms of <laughs> helping me knock walls down and stick with me when I would sit in silence. <sighs> you ever just feel happy? <laughs> you ever just feel a genuine sense of joy? <laughs> Put it on your vlog. Oh my god, I want to be a part of your vlog. Please. I am not a cop. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, so I'm getting bullied at this party right now, and. My gosh. And, like, I don't know, I'm really not feeling good about myself, and I think on Monday I'm going to talk to my guidance counselor, Mr. Mr. Wyclaw, about this because, like, Mr. I want I want to like fit in with the popular kids, but like You'll never they're will. doing stuff. Never will, Mom. So I got to be recording. Sorry, it's not under famous. It's not. It looks so beautiful. Not like you're fucking famous. This is what I like to call a cam. That's hi. No, you are you did you did a good thing. Oh my God, so hello. Please hey, subscribe YouTube. to my YouTube channel. It's Don't subscribe to her YouTube channel. Do it. She's a fraud. She's a fucking fraud. <laughs> Tell the YouTube channel. Tiffany. All right, so this is my what first apology video. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. Shannon exposed. Shannon, Shannon got wild. Apology to my subscribers. Oh hey YouTube, it's me, hey. Rebecca. Hey, her name is really Becky and she's just an irrelevant Felicia. Like, what's good? How do you describe happiness? How? Don't ask me, the fucking English major. I don't have a clue. So hopefully for you who is watching this video, maybe you went through the same things I did. Maybe where you went through this immense amount of trauma and you you were doing all these mental fucking loop-de-loops to i don't know try to try to pretend that everything was fine when it never really was fine and eventually you tired yourself out you locked yourself away in your bedroom and now you're coming out of that dark spot and you realize that you've lost a lot and you don't know exactly how to navigate the world yet but i hope i hope you find a group of people who who still love you unconditionally all the same 
whether they just met you for the first time or they have known you for five plus years at this point. I hope you find that group of people and you cherish them like no other. I hope you find this group of people who don't who don't tell you that everything that happens is your fault. They don't screenshot everything that you say to to use it against you later on. I hope they don't give you the silent treatment. I hope they don't subtweet you. I hope and I hope you know you don't you don't do the same back and you don't participate in that behavior and you just let that go. Because making an argument with people who act like that, it never will ever work out in your favor. What will work out in your favor, as hard as it is, and trust me, I know because there's if there's one thing I hate to do is to bite my fucking tongue, but I've I've been getting better in my life <laughs> with that. Um, I I hope you find people who who don't do that to you and don't encourage you to participate in that kind of behavior. Rather, I hope you find people that you can create things with, that you can talk to with, who you can go weeks without talking but slip right back into a conversation with them as if nothing ever happened. I hope you can go live your life respectively and so can they and you guys can interweave when needed, come in and out, help each other, support each other, do anything you can to be there for one another while also building yourself because at this point in your life you are the most important person asterisk unless you have kids because if you have kids then those are the most important people in your life but if you don't you are the most important person in your life and you need to do everything you can do to better yourself i feel like i sound like like a fucking mtv motivational speaker but it's true, it's true, nonetheless. I hope you can just find people that you can be crazy beautiful messes with one night, but then the next day I'll hang out in the living room doing face masks and watching really bad movies from the early 2000s. I hope, I hope you can find people like that. Because it's only going to do your soul and your body good. And especially as we move into a whole new time period. Um, that's what you need. You just need people who love you. And... Um, I know that sounds really corny and stupid and dumb, but then again, deep down, as much as I hate to admit it, I too am really stupid, corny, and dumb. <laughs> um, and I always will be. I'm soft. I'm a soft baby. I'm just a baby. A baby with a cup of tea. Mmm. I am the epitome of adulthood. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the ultimate spiral that I had, that we all had at this Friendsgiving that I went to. And um, I love being an actual fucking disaster. It's what I do best. Okay, so as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, or night, or wherever this video finds you. And I'll catch you next time, okay? <laughs> Bye.